patient. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. As it goes, Travis from Austria's Rognik here. Well, we off to the next video. I think this will be part three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, as I said in the last video, I've got the hull of the ship basically done. Uh, yeah, she is. So I've got the red done, I've got the black stripe done, and I've got this part of the ship done now. Next is to work on all of that up there. So I've still got quite a bit of work to do. This over here has got two LEDs in it, so I must just cover this up over here. That's covered up, but on the sides here it's got holes. Now the only things I've still got to do at the bottom is I just got to see what color this has to be painted and then of course the prop shafts not propellers aeroplanes have propellers ships have props a lot of people call them propellers but they're not propellers a propeller pulls a prop pushes so there is a difference between the two they're not exactly the same thing So, yeah, that's how far I am over there. So, once I've got the base done, then I'll do, I'm going to get back to these last little pieces and glue that on. Then I can put the base permanently, the ship onto the base permanently. And then we can start building all of this. Going. So, once you've got the flight deck, then it's just basically the island that has to be done. Most of the work is down here. Lots of little parts here. And yeah, this part I wanted to do, build all this up and get this all done before I started painting anything. But because of this piece here going over that piece over there, I couldn't. So it messed everything up for me. Anyway, guys, then when I come back in a few seconds, we will be priming the base, letting that dry, and then it will be taking a toothbrush with paint and going over the base all over the place but first I have to go and watch again what Trevor did on his video that was an awesome video you must go watch it and if you haven't been to Peter Plastic why not go over to his channel and watch it he's a very nice guy he does some great work he's busy building a nice little ship and which is not 350 scale it's a little ship Something like that, but it's turning out very, very nice. Or oh, turned out very nice. I think it's finished. Anyway, go check out his channel. He's a very nice guy. He's just got over being sick. Still not 100%, I don't think. But please go check out his channel. Subscribe. He used to have a channel, but then he closed it because he was sick. And now he's back again, and he hasn't got very many subscribers. I'm one of them. So. Check out his channel and subscribe, he's a very nice guy. Anyway, let's get over to the base and start the next one. The next part of this video, that is. <laughs> Be back right now. Okay guys, let's start off with a coat of grey primer. And if I remember the guy's name, it was Mean Machine that he used a granite base. So that's what I'm going to try to do, make my ship's base look like it's been cut out of granite. For a grand ship, which in my opinion should have been kept as a museum piece, because she was the most decorated ship during World War II but they scrapped her. 
So basically, if you take it in the terms of a soldier, well, they kind of just kicked her in the nuts and said, go to hell. Anyway, guys, let's quickly start doing the base. Then I'll go watch the video and see what has to come next. And then we can take it from there because I'm not sure how to do this. And by this, I don't mean putting on the primer. Okay, there we go. Step one of quite a few done. I've got my primer down. Now you can see the holes. Those are my mounting holes for the base. And that is my mounting hole for the wire. I haven't decided if I'm going to mount the power jack here. Or if I'm going to mount it to the base once I decide what type of base I'm going to use. So I'm going to do something like I did with the Enterprise. Put it on a nice big base. And maybe put on some badges and stuff from the area. Maybe with a photo of the Enterprise or something. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. But anyway guys, this is how far I am at the moment. The beginning of the base. So hopefully this turns out awesome. Uh, as I say, the, I think it's the main machine build. I think that's what it was called. Of Trevor's. I believe that's where I saw the him do the granite. So if you want to learn how to do granite, go over there. Because I think his base, the granite base which he did, turned out freaking awesome. And to me it looks like he went and had a piece of granite cut not painted with a toothbrush anyway guys be back now now okay guys I'm starting off with white got an old worn out toothbrush I've mixed the white paint with a little bit of thinners just some normal um, acrylic thinners this is what Trevor made himself made me some too sorry about the camera going out of focus so what I'm going to do is take the paintbrush dip it in and spray the model and then so I build up the layers I'm starting off with FX2 flat white there's five different colors I've got to use ending starting with white going to gray darker gray darker gray and then finally ending up with black so hopefully this will turn out as nice as Trevor's did on his mean machine build getting the paintbrush grip enough no, toothbrush not paintbrush okay that seems to be working better I'm gonna have to wash my hands when I'm finished. Nice rubber gloves would most probably help. Unfortunately, I 
unfortunately I don't own any. Once I've got this on, I'm going to leave it to dry. And come back with another coat and another coat and another coat until I'm satisfied with it it's my first attempt at this Turns out right and not yucky. Should I say ugly? guys I think that's good enough for now be back now now okay guys I'm gonna put down the next quick layer then the rest I will do most probably tomorrow night next part is XF19 up there this is uh, I think it's called sky gray by the looks of things uh, wrong color side. There we go. Okay, I might have to do multiple layers of the different colors. I'm not sure. But let's get started with this next one. I think kind of getting a cheap toothbrush just to do this with would be the best thing to do or a good condition second hand one that's got more bristles than this one this one is very worn out I don't know maybe that's why it's not working as nicely as I want I'm not 100% sure but I think you just keep going until you're satisfied with the way it looks with how much of each color you put on and just go over it over again until you like it but go look at Trevor's video and you'll be, you'll be able to see how he did it
Uh, excuse me a second, I just want to open for my cat. And they almost go fall over my broken chair. Okay guys, I'm happy with that. As you can see, I'm not wearing gloves, so it is a little bit on the dirty side. So, I'll be back a little bit later on. I might do another one tonight, I might only do it tomorrow. Be back later. Okay guys, I'm now on the next paint color. This is FX53, I uh, can't make out the name, uh, wrong direction, there you go, okay so uh, once again just on and here's my damn cat again oh. yeah, this cat. okay Okay, that's a bigger blotch than what I wanted, but I'm just gonna have to go with it. This one I'm getting bigger blotches than what I want. All I can do is leave it and go over it with the other stuff later. It's a bit of a mess up but there's not much I can do about it unless I smear it all over the place. I'm trying to get rid of it. Maybe I need a better toothbrush than this piece of junk I've got, but it's all I've got.
Uh, guys, that's it for now. Be back now. now. Okay, guys, the next paint I'm going to put on is German Grey, I think it is. Uh, trying to get a nice angle. Uh, F, XF63. Just going to keep going over with the different paints until I've got it where I like it. And hopefully this time I don't make too many massive spots all over the place. a bit tiring on the arms. Okay guys, that's it for now. I'm gonna let that dry and then come back with the black and then do some more white and some other colors and see how it turns out. Anyway, I'll be back now now. Okay guys, the final color is XF1 flat black. So we're gonna do the same as we did so far. I don't know, but it's running out of my thinners. Okay, let's get messy.
Okay, that's enough of the black. Now I must just go wash myself again because I'm full of black paint. Be back now now. Okay guys, I'm gonna give it a little bit more white. It's very dark, so hopefully this will now start bringing out the colors a little bit. I'm gonna sort of do it straight out of the bottle. A little bit more, then I'm done. And we'll see how it turns out. I'll decide if I want to put some more grey, light greys in it. Okay guys, that's it for now. I've got something that's about to start, so I won't be doing any more videos tonight. So when I come back, I'll be deciding whether I like it the way it is, or I'm going to add some more greys and stuff to it. Anyway, that's for another video. Uh, for, not another video, for another chapter of this video. Most probably tomorrow night. Be back later. Okay guys, I uh, just want to explain what happened here. As I showed you in the last piece of the video, I was doing this, but I wasn't happy with it. 
so I went and I sanded it down when I was busy cleaning it all up to respray I accidentally knocked it off the bed wasn't looking what I was doing came back into the room and stood on it so as you can see I repaired it there because I stood on it like that so I gave it a sanding gave it a clear um, primer coat again and I tried again what I did was thin the paint a lot more and then I redid it um, this time I'm a bit happier with how it came out it looks a much better so what I'm going to do now is just give it a clear coat this tin is almost empty so I don't know how much there is in it and on top of it my battery is about to die So hopefully once it's got a nice clear coat on it will bring the granite effect out more. Okay, that's just coat one. I'll do the rest of the coats off camera and then I'll show you. Right now I'm just going to put my the camera on charge and then I can do other work while the camera is charging anyway enough of that nonsense I'll be back now okay guys these are the two sprues with the props on them there there, there and there I'm quickly going to get some of the whole thing a clear coat Sorry, not clear cut base primer. Okay. First side's done. I'm going to give that a couple of minutes to dry. I think I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. Once that's done, then I can spray the propellers, well, the props. I can play them uh, gold that is the closest to bronze that you can get is gold bronze and gold looks very similar so I'll spray that gold um, propellers are not made from copper so you don't spray them copper because copper reacts with seawater apparently and I've never seen a copper propeller except for bronze on big ships so I'll spray them gold because gold is the closest color you can get to bronze. Anyway, guys, I'll be back now. Now, okay, guys, this is the color I'm using for the props. Uh, according to the instructions, it says X12, and this is the one color I was going to use anyway. And it turns out to be exactly the right color. I'm not going to spray this, I'm just going to paint it on by hand. It's four little props and that's going to be a pain to get all the airbrush out just to do something that small. So I'm not going to bother. Ah, and this is quite tight. I just want to say ouch. Okay, so I'm just going to do one of these on camera and the rest of it I'll do off camera
Thank you guys, and you can see hopefully quite nicely the colouring. That one is of course still has to be painted. Once it's on the ship and it's paint and it's glued in placing I can just go over it with some touch ups and then give it a clear coat. So there we go, now I can do the other three, so see you now now. Okay guys, what I'm going to do now is put the propellers on, and then I've got to just try to fix up this, I put, oops wrong position some clear coat on it and I gave it a light sanding but the clear coat wasn't as thick as I thought it was so I went through in spots so I must just quickly try sort out that then I can put the ship on the stand and we can finally start building the hangar deck okay so what I'm looking for on this side is the two 19s and the two 18s uh, there's 19 so now I can cut out the first blade and that's got to go on this side like that that is 18 but I just realized I forgot my glue so I must quickly get that first 19 down I just want to apologize again for the last video I made it a little bit too long didn't realize that it was hitting two hours and then using that great the glue doesn't want to come out the glue doesn't want to come out so I need my piece of wire sorry about this guys it's the only problem with this glue every now and then <clears throat> it gets blocked in the nozzle Do the trick. Get the first ones in place. For the second one. Quickly clip off these two because they're going to go on the same side, so it doesn't matter which is which. They're both 19s. These two screws are technically exactly the same from each other, so it doesn't really matter how you put put the one in the front or the back and it makes no difference
and here we go four uh, props are in position so uh, that's it for now guys when I come back I'll be mounting the ship to the base as I say I've got a little bit of repairs to do because I messed it up a little bit be back now okay guys a quick update I've masked off the side of the ship and this part here where it's been painted white and just these little pieces here so I'm now going to prime all this up get that ready to paint then I'm going to start gluing these little gadgets down here and actually you know what I should actually do that first okay uh, just remembered I need to glue those pieces in the back first thing I can primer them oh, actually it doesn't matter I'm going to primer this first so those I'll glue in afterwards because I've got to paint them on the sprue so it doesn't really make a difference um, right there the primaries okay so I'm quickly going to primer all of this and then we can start building the back get that area and these parts all done and get the hanger deck going but first I'm going to do primer this then I can paint this deck and then we can start with the other part okay guys let's quickly start with the primer Sorry if I'm getting in the way there. I hope I didn't. Okay guys, there we go, that is the hanger deck now primed, oops, that was a little bit bad, wrong, totally the wrong direction, anyway guys, that's the primer deck, the hanger deck now primed with this part in the back, uh, just one thing I want to quickly show you, uh, this camo scheme on this particular airplane Mm, to my knowledge doesn't exist it's just something I, as I said before in a video I had an aeroplane which was broken into pieces and I decided to mess around with it anyway guys that's the camo plan paint job I decided to do I know it's not this plane's never been painted this way but I just did it for the hell of it now I've just got to do the landing gear and all the missiles and stuff to finish her off, but this is just for fun. It's my little guy in the carpet. Anyway guys, I'll show you when I'm done with that what that looks like. But the deck of the Enterprise is now primed. The hangar deck. And now it's just a matter of putting all the parts on, the photo edging and everything. I'm going to buy some one to three fifty scale characters are from eBay. It's just I have to wait for my salary and then I can hopefully buy. But once I get finished with the part where I have to start building the flight deck, that's where I'm going to stop work if the stuff hasn't arrived yet, which I don't think it will have arrived. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Be back now. Now. Okay guys, the next thing I'm going to do is paint the hangar deck. Now from what I can see, this is a light grey, 
unfortunately you cannot find anything decent I did find a, a build which a bloke did from I think it's fine scale modeler uh, just let me quickly check fine scale modeler on their website there's a bloke that built the enterprise's photos and it looks like he painted his deck a light gray so that's what i'm going to do the same color as what goes underneath the airplane's wings that light gray uh the light gray which or what is it ja gray it's like a lightish type of gray that's what i'm going to be using for the flight deck because nowhere can you find anything on the ship about the hangar decks floor colors or anything so then i'm going to paint these little bumps the rope gadgets i'm going to paint all of those maybe a different color i haven't decided yet anyway i'm going to paint this picture and a little bit i'll show you over there and then i'll do the rest off camera otherwise i'm going to make this video too long okay so let's quickly start painting just do a test page okay test paint guys i'm getting carried away but that's it for now um gonna let this dry then i'll decide whether i'm happy with it or not but at this point i don't think i'm gonna go with this color i might change it to another gray uh but i'll let you know now now see you later okay guys this part i've got to paint the same color as the hole this piece is going to be glued in after I've started putting stuff on the deck because there's a, six, a small section of the deck where I can't work once that's in place. So I'm going to paint that, get that ready. Then I'm going to start gluing the parts on the back, get that ready to be done. Once everything's glued in place, then I can mask the back off and paint the parts of the ship that has to go the same color as the hull. Anyway guys, let's quickly give this a coat of paint and then we can get on to the next part. Sorry about the compressor. My luck, the thing has to be moving around. Uh, let me get some press stick. Sorry about this, guys. Just make sure it's even shot. Uh, didn't think about the air pushing it around. Okay. 
Okay guys, let's quickly give it uh, this side a bit of grey paint. Going to just be checking what parts have to go onto the back of the ship underneath that. Don't know why that's gone out of focus. Sorry about that. Okay, guys, I'll be back now. Now, okay, guys, I'm going to glue these little gadgets in here. There's two, four, six, eight of them which I've got a glue in place. There's, let's see, where are they here again? Um, there's one, two, three, four, five on this sprue. So I'm going to just do what's on this sprue and then I'm going to stop recording and do the rest off camera. I found another guy that's built the ship on a website, but his is a darker color, this same as the flight deck. So I'm going to see what I'm going to do. I might repaint this the darker color the same as the deck. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, that's for later. So I need to glue those gadgets in there. Okay, it would help me if I remember the glue. Okay, so let's quickly cut them off the tree. They are quite small. Uh, the only problem I had is these little guns here. I found one in the bag, but I've lost two. They broke off and I, they're not in the bag anymore. So I don't know if they fell out. all those parts cut off okay glue is coming out so let's glue these things in place oh, these things are really small on the table rather than just dip this in the glue because I've got a little bit too much there not serious but this is turning into a pain oh come on Yo, these things are small <laughs> Yeah, this is really giving me a problem. 
even with tweezers this is turning into a nightmare Now only halfway through this nightmare. Right now I'd rather watch Nightmare on Elmer Street. And put these things in place. Right now I could use a good laugh. Most people get scared about Nightmare now on the street, but I just used to laugh. Because I found it so pathetic. But right now I'm finding this to be more pathetic. Oh, I just can not get a proper grip on these damn things, they're so small. My hands are actually getting sore. Okay guys, that is only five done. I still got another three to do on another sprue, but I'm not gonna bother you considering that took me almost six minutes and 20 seconds. Anyway guys, I'm going to do the rest off camera so I don't have to bore you with this anymore. Be back now now. Okay guys, I'm going to now glue some extra parts on here. So the holes where the rope goes through. Not sure what the technical term is. Just going to glue a couple on, the others I'll do off camera. when things go wrong, don't you? Okay, so I've got another three on that side to put in place. Oh, I mean another two, and then I'm done. And I moved this stupid ship. Okay, guys, so I've, there's that one. There's one, there's one. I've just got these two to do, then I'm done. Be back now. Okay, guys, next I'm going to put in a gadget there, there, and there. The funny little gadget with holes in it. So 
said I should be pretty easy hopefully to connect up just need to drop some more glue on the table just makes it easier to work two already off so this third one I'll do off camera I still got to cut that one off and all best plans go awry where this has got to go into and even with the magnifying glass on I can't get it into the hole <sighs> sorry about the hand there we go got that one in place Next one, hopefully this one will line up a little bit easier. Sorry about getting in the way, maybe. Okay. That wire is just getting in the way a bit. And there you can see those two gadgets in. I've got those in and I've got these around the edge. So I've got one more. I don't know if that will help a little bit with, with the picture quality. Anyway, I've got to find one more and then that will be done. So I'll be back now. now. Okay guys, there's two more parts I'm going to glue on here. Well, three. Two of them go there and one goes there. Uh, just quickly got to see what they were again. Had them and then I forgot. 9 and 28. Okay, so I'm going to do number 9 first. Number 9 is that one over there. Sorry about that guys, okay, at least the camera came back into focus nicely, I've just put that one on over there, now the next two are quite small, Two's got to go there and there. And hopefully, I can do this without losing it, like I did with another part a few minutes ago. But thank goodness I managed to find it, thanks to my mother who helped me, and a flashlight, and we managed to spot it.
that's one. Okay, so that's most of the stuff done there. These gadgets I've still got to do. I'm not quite sure what they are. I've still got the railing to put on. But first I want to paint the actual deck itself. Anyway, it's still quite a bit to do, but next, once I've got some other little gadgets done in the front, which I've been doing off camera, once that's done, we're just going to paint the deck a darker grey. I'm going to do it the same colour as the flight deck. I decided to do it that way. I found, as I say, I found another video, well, not video, another set of photos where it shows that, that this and the flight deck's the same colour and all this stuff is the same colour as it's the flight deck so I'm going to do it that way not this particular color because it just doesn't look right I don't know what the proper color of the ship was is just can't find anything anyway enough of that nonsense that's it for now see you later be back now now okay guys i put all the little parts in here now i'm just going to spray the deck the same as the flight deck so the hanger deck color is going to be the same i don't know if that's correct and right in the front there those are all done and there's a couple there that's done so all that's done now Let me zoom out again now I'm going to paint the flight deck the same color as what uh, the hangar deck the same color as what the flight deck is going to be. Um, I'm used to calling this a spray tin. Americans call it a rattle can. It's got a, the marble inside. Um, this is the color which the flight deck is going to be, and I'm going to spray the hanger deck the same color I um, don't know if this is correct or not I can't find anything that shows me a decent picture in color of the hanger deck so I'm just going according to one video uh, guys I'll put that up on this video his um, website because I've got two that uh, one is from uh, what do they call themselves um, fine scale modeler but I don't know if the grey which he used is right or not. So I'm going with the other bloke who's done this. Okay, so let me just get the camera nicely in position. Okay, so I'm not going to do too much of this. Sorry about the racket of the shaking of the tin. I'm just going to do the little bit of the yeah, and the rest I'll do off camera and then. When we come back, we will be starting to install this. I just got this little piece over here and here to spray grey. And then we'll take the rest of it from there. Anyway, that's it for now. Let's quickly spray this. And then once that's dry, we can get on to the next part. Okay.
Okay guys, so that's now the whole ship done. When I come back, we'll be on to the next part. Be back now now. Okay guys, the next part I'm going to be putting in is this back piece. This will be the final part for this video. That goes into place. Like that. Then I've got the parts that go on the side. But for this video, that's as far as I'm going to go. In the next video, we will start building and sorting out all the flight deck parts. I mean, the hangar deck. So let's quickly get the glue on. Uh, and now the glue doesn't want to come out. I just need my piece of wire, and there the camera decides to go to Hades. Sorry about that, guys. I need to figure out a way to do some better lighting, and hopefully, that will make things better. But right now, I can't figure out how I'm going to make the money to be able to buy better lighting. Hopefully I've got the thing unblocked. Oh no, you most probably won't be able to see me putting the glue on. Okay guys, there we go. I've got the glue in place. Now Okay, let me pull this back a bit, turn it left that a bit, okay there we go, that is that piece in place, that dry on the inside of the ship here, you get a piece that blocks that off, and over here, so that over there will have LEDs going into it, therefore the wires that's coming out. But anyway, that is for later. The walls and everything of the flight hangar deck are still got to be done. All the stuff that goes outside here still got to be done. A lot of work front back before we even can start thinking about putting on the flight deck. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I won't be showing any more at this point. I've now just got to do the ending off part of the video. So I'll be back for a few seconds, in a few minutes time for that. Be back now now. Well guys, that's it for this video, uh, I've done quite a bit, I hope the video is not too long, 
like last time I still apologize for that I really didn't want to make the video almost two hours long it was an accident I should have checked how long the video was and I could have split it in two but I didn't that was a big mistake so I'll check how long this one is if it's an hour 10 minutes hour 15 minutes not a big deal if it's more than that then I might cut this video up into two parts anyway by the time you get to this point you already know how long it is anyway guys that's it for now when we uh, come back we'll be starting to do uh, the parts that have to go on to make the flight deck uh, hangar deck not flight deck once we got that all done then we'll see how long it is and whether there will be one another part to it or we'll get the whole flight deck stern and bow all done in one video or in multi in the next video after that we'll have to wait and see anyway guys that's enough of me talking nonsense and rambling on like a bumbling idiot i hope you enjoyed this video so far and i'll see you in the next one live long and prosperous and cheers